My name is Wayne Smiley. I'm a principal architect for the One Identity Active Roles Active Directory and Office 365 Management and Security product. I'm excited to welcome you today to our overview of Active Roles. Today, we're just going to show you a small overview of the different functionality and pieces of the product so that you can better understand how Active Roles works and what it can do for you. One of the most popular products in the One Identity suite is One Identity Active Roles. Active Roles is an Active Directory management security tool that also does identity and access management as well. Specifically, it's a Swiss army knife around Active Directory. It was designed by Active Directory administrators for Active Directory administration. It's filling in all the gaps that Microsoft left na out of native Active Directory while at the same time adding a lot of new features and functionality on top of that. First, on the Active Directory administration side, it really fixes a lot of the native problems that are built to Active Directory itself. Things like setting different attributes different ways, making sure that only things can only be done in a very specific way, and that the data put into the system makes perfect sense as it goes in. Additionally, it also layers on top of that Azure AD administration right inside the tool. So we don't have to do them from separate interfaces. Same with Office 365 as well. And on top of that, we layer on automation, things happening on their own, group membership changing based on criteria that you set, things like that. Next, we center around Active Directory security. We all know that the native Active Directory security model is very poor. We built our own security model from the ground up based on a zero up mentality, meaning that we only grant users the rights to the actual things that they need. And we can be much more granular than the built-in Microsoft security model on top of that and can grant different buckets of rights to different users in different places in Active Directory all at the same time without having to redelegate or anything like that. As we all know in native Active Directory, it's extremely hard to know who has access to what. In Active Roles, it's very easy to see those sorts of things. And in addition, in native AD, it's very hard to make changes to multiple locations like multiple OUs at the same time. In Active Roles, we can do that very simply all in a couple of mouse clicks. And in native Active Directory, there's really no accountability to know who really has access to what and who did what. In Active Roles, we can go through and we can do that all automatically and we can see who actually has access to what and who did what at any given time. Also, Active Roles can act as an identity management solution. We can get rid of all that manual work that happens now at the help desk to create users, change users, all those sorts of things that are error prone and cause problems. All that can go away and Active Roles can automate all of those processes and it can do it very quickly and efficiently. We can also get rid of the multiple interfaces that are required now, be it the uh, ADUC console or Active Directory users and computers, the Azure AD portal, the Office 365 portal. All those can be replaced, at least on the help desk side, with Active Roles itself through a nice, easy to customize and use web interface. So we've talked a little bit about what Active Roles is, but how does it actually do all of this? Active Roles is a whole set of pieces, and those pieces all work together in order to form what is the ultimate solution. We start with an extremely well-designed security model inside of Active Roles that lets us grant rights and permissions and roles in a granular way without causing difficulty to actually do it, as well as being able to see everything later on and know who really truly has access to what and what rights and roles they actually have. Active Roles is also very extensible, so I can layer things on top of that. If I want to manage something else, I just say, hey, let's manage that along with this. Here's how I want to do it. Here's what pieces I want to add to it, and Active Roles will do all that for me. Moving on to that, we can also layer on common things like Azure AD and Office 365 and let Active Roles manage those all together, all with one pane of glass, so that the customer doesn't have to go into multiple systems in order to do it. And in addition to that, the Active Roles administrators can pick and choose which data comes from what system, meaning that users don't have to know 
where they're changing something. Active roles will do that for you in the way that you, the administrative group has, has designed. We can also do things like account administration and basic day-to-day -day things that just need to be done all the time. And we can do all those through a nice, easy-to-use web interface, making everyone's lives a whole lot easier. And then, of course, directory management. So there are all kinds of other things in Active Directory that we need to manage. Active Roles will manage those as well for us. All of this begs the question, can Active Roles be used as an identity management solution? And if so, what makes it different from a solution like Identity Manager or a full-blown identity governance solution? Let's talk about that for a second. Active Roles can, in fact, act as an identity management solution. However, it is Active Directory centric. This is different than a full-blown identity governance solution where the IGA solution itself is the core database and contains all the users. And then Active Directory, for example, is just a system that is layered on top of that just like any other system that it would have. For example, uh, Oracle Database or something along those lines or whatever it is. Active Roles is generally used for smaller implementations, where a full-blown identity governance solution will be used for larger implementations. Active Roles is very Microsoft-focused in terms of what pieces it controls and how it controls them, as opposed to a full-blown identity governance solution that will control pretty much anything out there and provision and deprovision from all of those. Active Roles does not have an attestation feature or some of the self-service features that a full identity governance solution would have either. However, Active Roles is very simple to implement, it's faster to get real ROI out of, and it's frankly less expensive to implement. So as you can see, there are pluses and minuses to using both systems, and it's your job to help figure out which is the correct one for a particular customer.